Okay, this is the finished robot remote control, or robo remote for short. We have three switches up here that control which channel or what destination device it's going to, and it's binary, so that'd be one, and then two, and then three, etc. A row of LEDs for status, the power button that also lights up, another set of function buttons, and a few other function buttons as well. So I have currently um, several buttons programmed, and this is Toby, the first robot it'll interface with. So the first thing to show it off is we'll boot Toby up. And as you can see, Toby's booting up. And in a few minutes, it'll say, Robo Remote Not Found. So we'll flip on the robotic remote. It runs through a test pattern. And then this light will light up, showing that it's transmitting. Meantime, Toby is flashing a red light, showing that he's not receiving anything. Now our remote control is transmitting. But according to Toby, he's not receiving anything. There's robo remotes not found. <coughs> That's because I'm transmitting to device zero and Toby is programmed as device one. So we'll change it to device one and it's going through its programming routine of programming the XB transmitter. Now it's transmitting and now we see Toby says that it's connected. At this point, we also see the flashing green light showing that we're receiving data from the remote control. So, the first switch that I have programmed in is a switch to send pulses from an accelerometer that is built into the remote control. Once I do that, then the green light goes out and a transmission, transmission light comes on showing that I'm transmitting pulses. Now, Toby's display shows that I'm sending right and left pulses, or center pulses, or 1.5 milliseconds. Now, if I take the remote control and start tilting it forward, if I tilt it forward, right now it's transmitting 17 uh, 1.7 millisecond pulses, and if you look at the wheels you can see that they're moving. So we are receiving data. I also have a speed control, this switch, which will increase my maximum, which right now when I tilt the robot forward or the remote control forward, it only gives a 1.7 out of a maximum of 2 millisecond pulse. When I turn this into high speed, now we can see that Toby is displaying a pulse of two milliseconds and the drive wheels are moving at full speed. Again, if you tilt it back, then you'll see that it moves back to one millisecond pulse and Toby is moving in reverse. Now, <coughs> for future reference, I have this switch here, which will be the follow me mode, and we'll sh it shows that we're in the follow me mode, and Toby is in the future follow me mode program, as you can see by the display. And the follow me mode, once we get to that level of programming, we use this Delavan uh, heat thermal sensor array to figure out where in front of you, or in front of the robot, is a heat source. So that's basically the rem robo remote uh, control. Also, uh, when we're sending pulses, um, I will get to the point where I'm actually using the ping sensor array as well as the side pings to determine if there are objects. So if you tell the robot to move forward, the pings will check to see if it can move forward. Um, if it can't move forward, the robot won't move forward. 
The only other thing that I was going to do was program this button as an override. So if I hit this button, Toby will ignore any sensor data and move according to the accelerometer. I figure in tight spots where I know I can get the robot through, but the robot doesn't think it can go through, I might need to hit the override to actually make the robot move through narrow doorways or narrow corridors. And that is the robot remote controller. This will be the last post on this completed project, and all other data will be on the uh, Toby page.